So in this video, we are already on the theory of representations or representation theory. We saw in the previous video the trivial representation and in this video we are going to see some examples of representations. So do not forget the definition of a representation. A representation of a group G is a homomorphism phi that will take you from the group G to the general linear group uh, for some finite dimensional vector space phi. So in this case, um, this is a representation group. So the factor group Z by 2Z uh, two taken to by this homomorphism to the non-zero complex numbers and it takes in this way so it picks an element I wrote it here as a matrix okay and sends you to a um, uh, to one value okay in the complex uh, non-zero complex number. So this representation is taking if phi here is for instance phi of 2 phi of 2 okay it will be equal to the, the image will be minus 1 to the power of 2 so that will be 1 okay so that will happen for all even <coughs> elements of the factor group. So this part will be send it to 1. And the odd part, so to speak, will be send it to minus 1. Because this one will be minus 1 to the power of an odd will be minus 1. Okay, so this is a typical example of a representation. So we um, we are sending a group to a, a complex non-zero numbers. So another example will be a homomorphism sending the group, the factor group, z by 4z to the complex non-zero numbers and it will be sent uh, this way M here right where this is a matrix a matrix and that will be let us say I complex number to the power of M this this one is also a representation Okay, let us check some elements here. So these are the elements of this group, right? This is our group G, the factor group. So this one will be sent to I to the power, for instance, of 0. So this one will be sent to 1. This one will we send it to i, i squared is minus 1, and this is minus i, right? Yes. Okay, so here you are. This group, the elements of this group were all sended to the, the elements of this vector space. So this is a representation to of course looking at this and looking at the previous example it's quite easy to generalize okay so this should be the the, the generalization of the uh, of the representations we, we just saw by the way the representations we saw were all degree one right I think that was more or less obvious because we were sending always to a vector space of degree one. Okay, so 
so it would be phi of the factor group so here we are sending a group to a vector space z of the factor group of z by n z send it to uh, the complex numbers non-zero so phi of the matrix matrix with one element or yes one element at a time uh, send it to this so the previous example was uh, uh, z by 4z right okay and so according to this this would be should be sent to 2 pi i so m will be this m and n will be this one right so that is e to pi i m over to and now if you um, use the this usual stuff you will get the, the the previous values so by usual stuff I mean so imagine for instance that you were doing this in this group for m equals 1 so that would be the the cosine of pi m is 1 so that will be cosine pi over 2 plus i just use use the the the, the Euler identity i sine pi m is 1 so i pi over 2 so cosine of pi over 2 that's uh, 0 right and sine of pi over 2 that's 1 so 1 times i that's i okay and you see so this this works if you go back to our previous example you see that for 1 1 is here right that was the the particular element we were checking and we got i uh, so for one we got i here and this homomorphism you see the general issue, uh, generalization is okay for m equals one we also got i so this is the you can easily get for this sort of groups a representation of degree one